everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a paint with me with special diamonds. I'm going to do this beautiful bluish mandala. Um, it has 10 colors to it and it has special diamonds. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this one. I did unbox it on camera. Um, so we've seen these before, but I'll show them to you as I go. Um, I'm not going to time lapse this as fast because it's not a very big painting. So I'll kind of go a little bit slower. So I know a lot of you like to see my setup. So I'm going to show you that. Because this is such a small diamond painting, I decided to not use my light pad. Because the symbols are pretty clear. And I don't think I need it for this one. Um, but I still do have my overhead lamp. Um, just in case I need that. I've got my clips, my diamonds my um, single drill tip is what I'm gonna be mainly using. But I also have my tweezers for the bigger diamonds that won't fit in the pen. And then I have a boat and I have some wax. And of course my garbage cup is hanging off the side here. I also put my tweezers like that. I guess I should show you guys how I have this set up. Um, so I've taken a, um, I've taken a binder clip and another binder clip. I've clipped a bowl, this metal like little canister you get at like a restaurant, but I bought a pack of four of them. Um, and I looped it through the handles and then I just put my tweezers right through there like that. Um, it stays pretty stable. It's, it works for what I need it to do. <laughs> um, and then the only other tools I have to use are the scissors to open up the packs of diamonds. And then when I'm done with the diamonds and um, I don't need them anymore, I'll put them just temporarily into these containers so that I don't have to use bags or whatever. Just a temporary solution until I can store them. Okay? I also have Princess. Princess. Say hi. She's gonna be my diamond painting buddy today. So yeah, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do first, um, I've decided instead of waiting, is put the um, con the special diamonds into these containers um, just for easy access because I don't wanna run into the issue of having any open, the, of these open bags and then stuff spilling out. So what I'm going to do for each one, I've put the special diamonds in there, and these are YX106. So I'm just gonna cut out the little sticker off the, the little bag, and just put it right in there, along with the, the drills. Because this is such a small painting, I don't really have to be, you know, perfect on my labeling or anything like that. I'm also going through the numbers. So this one's number four on the on the um, key, and it's the number four um, spot. Now I'm not gonna label these. Um, I'll just know that if it's number four to look, it'll narrow my search, I guess is what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna keep going with this um, until I'm all done. I'll do one on camera um, just so that you can see what I'm doing. So here's number one, for instance. Um, it's kind of smudged, but number one is 001. And so I'm going to open up this container over here. <coughs> and... The one is a little smudged, but it, like I said, this is probably going to be able to be finished in one sitting, and so I don't have to really do much to remember um, the colors since it's such a small painting. So I'll just cut off the information, I'll stick it in there, and I'll close it up. And I'm going to do that for every, every special diamond that I have in this painting.
So another reason why I'm choosing to get these colors into these containers before starting the painting is because I'm filming. And because I'm going to use one um, drill at a time, one um, symbol at a time, I don't need to put them in containers because I could theoretically just put them in, the, in some sort of container when I'm finished and just work right out of the bags. But because these aren't resealable bags, um, I would have to put them in containers once you know I'm done with it because I will have extra. So I'm choosing to take the time now to put them into containers instead of having to have lots of breaks in between changing colors. So it's just a matter of saving time right now. Here I've got all my special diamonds kitted up and ready to go with their little labels inside. And now that I'm, I've got them all in containers and everything, I'm ready to get started on the painting. Since this is such a small one, I'm going to take, um, I'm going to do one symbol at a time and go through the whole painting. So as I go, <clears throat> what I wor found works best for me is if I just peel back some of the some of the cover sheet and apply the drills over here you know if I'm doing say the number one I'll do all the number ones over here pull it back a little bit more do the ones and then I usually go from the other side and I'll finish the ones on this side so you'll see me kind of flip-flopping back and forth let's get started You know, one thing I'm really liking about these special diamond diamond paintings is that the ones I've done so far that are partials, um, the symbols are very, very easy to, to see. So it is a really, really nice break from my square, my larger diamond paintings that I have to kind of search for and sometimes wear my magnifying glasses on, you know, <laughs> um, while working on it because my eyes get tired um, <clears throat> from concentrating so hard. Um, but with these ones, I find that it's so easy to see, especially the um even though it's a mandala so it's a complex pattern um an assortment of shapes but you can see that because the shapes are different um the pear shaped diamonds or the teardrops um definitely help to break up the symbols and so it's much easier to see um this one in particular um you, if you see those red and yellow dots on the canvas like right by where I'm drilling right now that red dot at first I thought that was a part of the design and as I was working through the colors and looking through the symbol list I realized that that is a symbol a red dot is where a drill goes <laughs> so that kind of threw me off and I thought the yellow ones was just you know the same thing I thought oh you know that's just the the painting on the can you know the paint on the canvas but that was another um, 
another symbol, so that kind of tricked me a little bit. But yeah, I really, really enjoy doing these, especially too because they're small and you know they take me a little over an hour to complete. Um, and they take they would they take me a little bit longer than like the average Joe because I'm filming and so I have to you know move the camera with me wherever you know on the canvas. Um, and you guys leave me some feedback as to what you like in terms of um, am I too close to the canvas? Do you want me to pull farther back? Um, or do you want me to get closer than this? Um, closer than this is hard because I'm constantly drilling um, out of the shot. So I have to constantly be checking the camera, making sure that I'm in the frame. So this is this was like a, a sustainable um, distance for me um, throughout the whole um, project. So I, I tend to, um, I, I, you laugh if you saw the setup of my camera, <laughs> um, but it's actually a pretty good idea. So what I have my, I use my phone to film, um, and it's, I have this little clip on the back of it, and I, when I push it, it turns into a stand, and so my phone is like tilt, like a kickstand, it's kickstand up. But it was too low, um, just right on the right on my lap desk. So I put it on top of my big orange tray that I have, my drill tray, and that was still a little bit too low. So then I put another green boat on top of the orange tray. So my my phone is on top of two different drill trays. But that was nice though because then I was able to slide it around as I went. And I was able to, you know, be careful of the drills, but also can, I could slide it around to wherever I wanted it to go. And I didn't have to, you know, move it around in terms of tilting and all that. It was just the same angle. It's just moving around the canvas. So that really worked for me a lot. I am, I tend to work um, on my diamond paintings while sitting on my bed um, with my laptop desk. Um, and you can see my overhead light clip is clipping my canvas to my desk right now um, and I like this because well <laughs> since it's been the since it's been winter and we've had a really cold winter um, Chris and I have actually sort of hi been hibernating in our bedrooms because the living room is just too big to heat enough you know it's too expensive to heat um, because it's so big so we keep it at like 63 in there, but then we both have space heaters in our bedrooms. Um, and mine's on a thermostat, so mine stays around like 68 to 70 degrees. And um, so we've just been kind of hanging out in our bedrooms lately. Um, so that's why, mainly why I've been um, diamond painting on my bed so much with this laptop desk. It's also very cozy and comfortable, and I get to look at my out my windows and so I just I enjoy it a lot I also have a wax melter that um, I turn on and it you know so it smells relaxing and it looks relaxing and that's what diamond painting is about it's about relaxing and stress relief and lowering your anxiety levels so, which is also another reason why I, I um, shied away from filming for a long time. When I sort of took my hiatus, um, it one of the things was I was cutting out as much stress in my life as I was as, as possible. Any unnecessary stress was gone um, in order to just survive. And um, filming was, you know, diamond painting. I love. And I, I diamond painted throughout the entire time, but filming it was a little more stressful, um, and I just like couldn't handle it at that point. Um, so, and being gone so long, I know I did miss a lot in terms of because I didn't watch a lot of diamond painting videos. Um, while I diamond painted, I just sort of because I just wanted to stay away from YouTube altogether, um, just because I didn't want to be reminded of you know what people were putting out there and. I knew I was going to miss out on some some new you know tools and new stuff, but it was okay because I knew I would come back to it eventually. 
and I did and I've gotten some new container systems and some new tools to try out on camera that I've seen other people try on YouTube and I'm really looking forward to um, tr you know making those kinds of videos too um, and trying out some new things and I know we all learn from each other but we all sort of have different subscribers you know I, I'm, I know I've, I've subscribed to many different diamond painting um, youtubers um, not only to stay current on you know what's out there but also um, because I I love it and I think they're they're awesome people and I think every uh, we're all awesome people everyone on on here and whoever watches and comments I love all of you I mean it's great this community is wonderful and the, you know our Facebook group um, as well is very supportive and I'm very proud of that safe space that we have um, if you're interested the link is below in the description of the video and I talk about it at the end um, of this video as well so yeah I'm excited for you know back to winter time in Michigan I'm excited for summer sprint the spring summer switch because um, I guess the winter spring and spring summer switches <laughs> because you know I live I've mentioned before that I live right on this lake now and I have this beautiful lake view and we have a beautiful glass table on our patio that I'm really looking forward to sitting on and diamond painting on um, while I look out at the lake and enjoy and um, for those of you who don't know I am finishing my last semester of grad school currently right now um, and I will graduate in April next month so I'm looking forward to being finished with my master's degree and um, continuing on to be as best of a teacher as I possibly can and to help other teachers become better as well. Um, I'm looking forward to taking on a student teacher pretty soon here. Um, now that my, my you know, workload will be lessened because grad school will be over, um, I can do some other things. So. I'm looking forward to the future and you know I can learn from all the stress I went through and you know it was the hardest time of my life to be honest um, and I just didn't have room for I didn't want to broadcast it I wasn't in the right headspace to, to film at that point so um, yeah another place I know I'm kind of bouncing around but another place I really like to diamond paint is in the living room on my chair um, I have a like a Lazy Boy chair. Um, it's not Lazy Boy brand, but I got the, a set of furniture. I got a couch, a love seat, and a chair, a reclining chair. So it rocks and it reclines, and it's really cushy. Um, it's like that like microfiber type material. Um, all matching like this beigey tan color. Um, when I moved out five years ago uh, to my own place, um, I found that three-piece set of furniture for a hundred dollars at a garage sale now you can't beat that so I took it <laughs> and um, but when I moved into this apartment with Chris we didn't have space for all that big furniture so I ended up getting rid of or um, handing off the two couches and I kept the reclining chair um, because Chris also has a reclining chair and so we both have our chairs in the living room along with the couch so I like to diamond paint in my cozy chair as well and look out at the lake um, that way um, but those are pr the two um, places I pretty much diamond paint I don't know about you guys but I don't like sitting in a chair at a table or at a desk diamond painting I thought when I converted my dresser into a craft desk I thought I'd use it for diamond painting a lot more than I do but now it's just storage so I'm kind of wishing I didn't <laughs> get rid of the drawers because I could use that storage space where the stool I have a stool that slides under it but oh well you know you know but I guess I would this just makes it so I can't buy as many diamond paintings <laughs> um, yeah but I'm expecting a lot more of these special diamond paintings um, in the mail so I'm I can't wait to do more unboxing of these for you I love doing unboxing of special diamonds it's so it's like a breath of fresh air I feel like um, oh and I think I've come up with 
at the end of the video I talk about how I don't know what I'm gonna do with this um, mandala painting or diamond painting but I think I do know what I'm actually gonna do with it because I'm doing this voiceover um, post recording so I think when I'm done with all four of them I'll frame them in um, similar but different frames I don't think I want them all to be the same frame I think I want it to be an eclectic mix of frames and I have a space above my closet doors um, you know that weird space between the, the top of the closet and the ceiling um, in a standard size room without vaulted ceilings or anything um, I think that would be a good I've been wanting to put something up there for a while and I didn't really know what I wanted to put so I think these would look really good and catch some really good light up there especially when the Sun comes in so yeah that's what I think I'm gonna do with that um, yeah these drills that I'm laying right now these diamonds were very 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 cool to lay um, I'm obviously using the tweezers right now and I'll talk about it more later but um, I, I started using the tweezers for those big round ones and then I started to use the tweezers for the pear shape or teardrop shaped um, diamonds but that wasn't working so you'll see me pick up the um, the pick-me-up pen the silhouette pick-me-up pen with the tack in the tip that works really well now I don't know where my quick stick is it's another kind similar pen it's just smaller um, I'm not exactly sure where I've put it so I'll have to search for it but um, the pick-me-up pen uh, definitely worked yeah these these um, marquee diamonds were were very tricky to do with tweezers because I couldn't get the angle quite right on all of them so I had to you know restick them a few times <laughs> um, it was just tricky so um, I've also figured out a way to store these extra special diamonds that I'm going to save and now that's another um, another video but um, I finally I was hemming and hawing over what to do and then I got these new containers today in the mail and I thought oh my gosh these are perfect so we're gonna try it out and I'll make that a video as well so don't you worry your pretty little heads about that I know you guys like to see how everyone stores all their extra stuff um, my aunt who does diamond painting also was uh, asking me yesterday um, she was asking me why I why I keep the extra drills sorry <clears throat> the extra drills <laughs> and I explained to her that when you you know um, for those of you who don't know as you work on more and more diamond paintings you accrue a lot more extra drills and so over time and over lots of paintings you end up building this inventory of extra drills that you could use if you ever say run out of a color on a different diamond painting and you have a you know the DMC codes are close you know the, in color but you know every dye lot and manufacturer is different so there's always a little bit of a variance but you know yellow is still a yellow but it might just be a different shade of yellow um, you know who knows but um, I just throw them all in together and whatever um, so I, I that's why I do it now I've also had um, a couple friends who ran out of a color and I you know was able to say hey I have this color you know if you need it I got it um, so I can help other people out that way too or what I've seen some people do is just to use the drills at for other projects you know they made I don't know they made a vase with with diamonds all over it they glued the little diamonds all over it or they put it inside of pens and it's you know there's drills inside a pen which look pretty cool um, you know whatever you want to do with them um, it's up to you but if you are in really into diamond painting and you think you're gonna do it for a long time it might behoove you to um, you know start saving them up so you can develop a nice little inventory um, of backups just in case and now the diamond painting is more of like a pop a more popular craft than when you know we started a year ago 
Um, now, they ha you know, there's stores online that will sell you specific colors of drills, um, which is nice, And but that wasn't the case back when I started. So now you could just buy some. You might have to wait a little while, but at least you can, you know, you can buy it. And the glue on your canvas, I've never had glue dry on a canvas when exposed. Like I've kept a canvas exposed, not out to the elements, but it was in a garment bag, but um, there was nothing on, like directly on the glue. I'm, I, I left it there for three to four months and the glue was still as sticky as it was as the day I uncovered it. So this stuff takes a while to dry. <laughs> Um, so I don't think we have to be too concerned. The only thing to concern yourself with in terms of exposed glue is not getting a bunch of lint or hair all over it or dust and because that will take the stickiness away. All right, so it looks like I'm working on these blue, pear, per, um, I call them um, blue pearlized pear diamonds because um, I've had to figure out a way to describe them for storage purposes um, and these ones I call eight millimeter white rainbow iridescent pears <laughs> um, just so I know what it looks like you know in case they spill or whatever I know um, which ones that that is it's not as simple as just looking up a DMC code anymore so I just describe them kind of like a I would describe, you know, how doctors or pharmacists describe a pill that you're prescribed, like on the side of the bottle, it'll say, you know, a white oval, a small white oval, or whatever. <laughs> All right, everyone, here's the first Mandela, Mandela finished. It's the bluish one. It's DZ118. Um, that's how I'm deciphering between all four of these. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did unbox this on camera, and there was four that came in the package. So they are, they say they're 25 by 25, but they're actually, um, 19 by 19 centimeters, and in inches, that would be 7.5 by 7.5, um, which is, what the good thing about these mandalas, um, the partials with special diamonds, is that the pixelation isn't an issue, so you can get them as small as you really would like to. Um, but I, I'm very happy with the way this that these turned out. This was very satisfying to do because it only took me about a little over an hour to complete. And I really liked the variety of all the different colors and the different diamonds. Um, it was really, really nice. So what I'll do now is I'll just use my little rolly tool. I'm gonna hold my diamond painting down. And I'm just gonna roll over the top just to make sure they're all stuck. I did push them down um, before I or right when I was finished, I used the clear cover and I just sort of like use my hands and um, because I didn't want to put my hands in the glue, you know, the extra glue that's around the diamond. And then I obviously just rolled it just to make sure that they're all nice and secure on that glue. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this just yet in terms of framing or gifting or keeping or whatnot. Um, but I'll definitely do a little update for you um, when I figure it out. And in terms of the extra drills that I have, um, I have I had plenty for all of them. One of them I did almost run out. I have one left, one little YX106 left in there. Um, it doesn't want to flip over right now, but um, plenty of these rhinestone ones left um and i've got some of these blue ones you know so i didn't run out of anything the, i only came close on one color but i was happy i'm really happy with with the way this came out and the colors and everything it it almost is like the camera isn't doing it justice like how beautiful it is and the way it catches the light and how sparkly it is 
So I just wish you guys could like come through the phone and see this or come through the camera and see this in real in real life. I highly recommend these Mandela special diamond paintings. They're so satisfying to complete. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. Um, if you are interested in seeing more of, it, of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel. The link is below. Also, the link to our Facebook group is also below, and the link to these paintings are also in the description below. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get notified when I make new videos, you can click subscribe and then click that little bell icon next to it, and that'll alert you when I um, upload new videos. So until next time, you guys, enjoy your special diamonds and keep diamond painting.